Uh, I want to get my word of comfort. Are we, are we really on track or we are literally broke as a country? What are the constraints now as I see it? On one extreme, we have financing constraints because we don't have fiscal space. On the other extreme, we cannot use debt because we don't have adequate headroom for debt. Given that, we have to constrain ourselves to the resources that can be generated right now. And that's where we are. Treasurer has not done what. Treasurer has not done what. Um, and almost in all those committees, we are making a resolution with some on Treasury in all those committees. Uh, I wanted to get my word of comfort. Are we, are we really on track or we are literally broke as a country? <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Okay, just make that final Mr. comment. Mr. Chairman, yeah. Mr. Chairman, through you, uh, let me say that a country cannot be <laughs> The other day I was making a joke that we can actually even sell our assets to the next country. The bottom line is that the flow of resources is the, is the issue at the time we need the resources, not the stock of, we, are, we, are, we can have the wealth. But let me also answer your question, that, that question in a different way. And because we are Kenyans here, we, are, we, are, we, we should not hide our failures. The last 10 years of devolution has not worked very well because we should see counties actually moving towards self-sustaining because they are utilizing their relative comparative resource availability and capabilities to generate incomes. But we haven't seen that. So essentially, what we've done is to rely very much on the transfers from the central government. So we need to change this, and this is where we we'll, uh, we'll have to change from dependent on the creation has to do this for us to do this. So essentially, it's a way of, it's a development. That's why the bottom-up economic transformation agenda is an agenda, not an economic model. Because we have to, to understand where did we go wrong. Our own human capital development, our own markets, we have interfered with markets such that you cannot even start economic activity at the county level. The domestic resource mobilization, as you said, and even the tax system itself cannot generate adequate resources because of the design problems. And finally, the point that uh, we are working on is actually how do we move to the fourth industrial revolution with this economic agenda, economic transformation agenda. This is what is going to liberate us in terms of resources. So I'm happy that uh, we have made that comment. But a country cannot be broke. It's the resource timing. So essentially, we have a lot of resources, but the resource flows are quite constraining. What are the constraints now as I see it? On one extreme, we have financing constraints because we don't have fiscal space. On the other extreme, we cannot use debt because we don't have adequate headroom for debt. Given that, we have to constrain ourselves to the resources that can be generated right now. And that's where we are. And I'm sorry, I, I don't think I have uh, I, I just wanted to make that point. It may be neutral, but it's in itself, it will be sure that we have a lot of work to do. And uh, we have to make sure that we nurture what we have done. And in, ter in the, intermediate period, inter uh, the intervening period, you have seen what kind of negative shocks that we have suffered. Those negative shocks not only happen, they even affect households themselves at the household level. We have seen how we have lost a lot of wealth, especially those who are, you, you can see the animals, we have lost like 2.5 million animals. Those are wealth for the people, for pastoralists and uh, those communities. So it's something that is a short term, but we have to regroup ourselves and ask ourselves, how do we recover the lost world? Thank you very much.